Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful, well, sun shining outside the window. Not that I've taken a great deal of notice. I've been busy getting going with the live stream set up, of course, because I'm doing this every morning at eight o'clock-ish. So it's great to see you here. And for those who are on replay, well, obviously <laughs> you missed the live stream or you're just deciding to watch it again. So that's lovely. We're here for the purpose of reading a spread of Lenormand cards so that we can actually get a bit of a gauge on what the energy for the day might be. So I'm going to actually shift over to that. Uh, I've just got to remember where the heck is that? There's my button. I like pressing those buttons. So here we go. We've got, oh, and I forgot to bring out my, uh, yeah, my iPad must be in the lounge room. Ooh, I think my seat's getting a bit squeaky too. So tune into your psychic senses or your intuition or just go with that gut feeling or what you're getting, receiving from your spirit guides as well. And good morning, Rena. Lovely to have you here. So first comment that's in the stream that I can see. I'm assuming I'm going to the usual five destinations. Right. Here we go with our card spread. We've got a lovely spread this morning. I really love it. Um, really good positive cards. So we've got the anchor in our home space. We've got the owls in our workspace. I just realised that's not quite uh, in the right spot there. That's a bit better. Ah, uh, That's better. So here we go. Now let's start again. <laughs> Anchor in the home space. We've got ours in the workspace. That beautiful dog is present again today. Card number 17. Uh, whoops, sorry, 18 for Sarah when she's here. And we've got the heart. Oh, that's in the unexpected. The dog is going to pop in unexpectedly. We've got the hearts in your role and it's the flowers as the outcome. A beautiful set of cards. I loved it when I first put them over turn them over because what I do because I can't shuffle I'm just I put them face down first then it surprises me <laughs> when I actually turn them over ready for this and taking the photo so anchor in the home space it really is that security and being able to actually bring more calm to the waters or at least to the boat that's on the waters or whatever it is that you're trying to anchor in today so if you're feeling a little unsteady, just know that you can actually create that steadiness yourself, allow the, the um, anchor to set in the ground. So um, sometimes it can be a bit um, wild seas type of feeling in, and, and this is probably more than likely just that the relationships that are in the home. So that when you're actually uh, working through communication with whoever, because we've got the communication today there as that card, and that you're settling in, you know, there, there's something that's just a bit unsettling with your with a relationship of some sorts, what I'm feeling. We actually do have the dog popping in to give that support, love unconditionally and readiness to go play. So with that, we're going to be feeling that calmness. The dog's going to help bring it in, that loyal faithfulness. And really leaning on someone that you might have as the loyal friend and steadying something else that might be a little bit stormy. You know, there, there's interaction of sorts that's going to start to calm down and you'll feel in your home space that that's going to be the steadying influence. Go back to home. You know, we're coming back to what is our central uh, inner beingness and home space with that as well. So... If you're needing to actually, well, for someone, and it just uh, flipped into my mind, um, a friend who actually has her home on a houseboat, um, it's just that knowing that the anchor is steady and, and grounded and that really home is the, where the heart is. So, and we've got the heart too. <laughs> so that's why I just love this spread because the heart is bringing in that influence around the home space to really feel into it at that unconditional level and all things will be steady and calm. I'm also just seeing the albatross or whatever the bird is. I think usually the albatross is out on the sea, open waters. Um, being able to see things from that higher level of uh, distance 
so that you can get the the more global view i think really and not being absolutely in the situation if it's something that really needs to be sorted out and settled okay allow the waters to be calm and smooth and you can do anything with them with, with it not them right okay it just feels like that steadiness and glorious calm okay now i am just going to pop over to see make sure that i am actually live um because <clears throat> i know that there, from last night there was someone who had a bit of an issue you may okay. hear the echo Hold yeah. on. i'll just allow that to keep on rolling here we go we've got our owls i love the owls because as you know they are my um what do you call it totem <laughs> I was just trying to switch on this morning. Uh, I had a very late night last night and an early start this morning with the webinar already. So my head's a little bit on the oh, wobbly side, I suppose, thinking of all those things that were in the webinar, etc. So anyway, the owls, and it is communication that, and it's work. So here we go. We've, we've got the owls in our workspace. It really is bringing in that wisdom for what we need to be doing today, using and uh, creating in our space and that just reminds me i didn't do the uh, leanne's card or the owls so i will just pop them in there because the owls being the communication here we've got our card for the day be bold or italic <laughs> never regular i love that isn't it gorgeous so keep that in mind that we are individuals we are independent of others we are special um oh okay rena i'm getting a weird repeating thing occasionally but it's live that's what was happening with leanne last night there was a repeating and then the broadcast cut out so i'll try to get this through before it does that uh the scorpion your words can sting so watch your tongue and choose your words wisely so being that part of what is the um communication factor certainly be uh be mindful of what you are communicating and saying i'll just pop that com comment up there because taking note of that and sarah good morning to you lovely oh lovely ros <laughs> it's got the clover there it certainly is so with the uh you know so that what what words you are using that you're not using them sting you know with putting a sting in them who wants to sting someone else just allow what you're doing in your workspace today to be wise words, to actually have that mindfulness and thought behind them and knowing that what you're giving to others in how you're speaking is good stuff, okay? It's not your responsibility how they take it, but at least in the aspect of how you are thinking and speaking to others, that it's something that is worthy of... Um, you know, it doesn't have to all be wise, sage words, but it's just worthy of being uh, something that is heard uh, because sometimes we can put that sting in just because, you know, we feel hurt or things like that or we take offence, uh, even in the workspace and place or probably even more especially. It's one of the beauty, beauteous things, I think, of being a uh, solopreneur from home, uh, I don't really have to interact with other people uh, at that one-on-one -on -one level very much at all. I do a lot of the text typing, that sort of words. And that is even what can be um, your influence elsewhere as well, what you are writing. But we do have it more as that wisdom of communication, you know, in whatever way we're communicating today. So what way do we do it? Um, mostly words, but gee, you can do it with body language, you can do it with arts and, uh, you know, what, what we're putting out is our energy even. So um, bring with it that calmness of, you know, what we're going to be able to create as our calmness from home, that it is something that we're going to see that one in thought and here we've got the one in flight, so send it out. Dog, of course, we do know what dog, dog is present in there unexpected as that loyal loving unconditional love companion that we've got there and i'm just seeing my little dagger there and that side was really looking like it needs polish doesn't it so flip it over <laughs> i might have to find i don't want to do silver so i'm not sure how you actually polish an old silver plated type of a dagger 
well, I'm not sure if it's silver plated or not. Actually, I don't know. Um, but it is a beautiful letter opener, isn't it? Um, so be ready to take Doggy for a walk and take those opportunities as it is such a loyal, faithful, forever sitting with you energy with the dog. And that's going to pop in unexpectedly today. So when it does, certainly go for a walk with your dog. Oh, that was weird. Did the bounty first. Oh, good morning, Matt. Lovely to have you here. So I think we have got a few weird things happening with um, Facebook, etc. Um, I don't know if it's a BeLive issue or whether it's a Facebook one. I'm just going to have a quick look again. It's looking like I've frozen on my... So, mm, have I frozen? I just had a thought. Have I frozen? Um, it's looking like I'm not moving on the on my Facebook, uh, on my, yep, yeah, I don't know. Let me just go and flip that through quick. Oh, yes. I thought I was probably trying a bit. Uh, yeah, it's I'm not moving on the on Oh, no, Facebook. there it is. Uh, um, it is still showing up as moving. Weird, 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 weird. Um, good morning, Ros, Matt. Yeah, things are, it's a bit slow. I started at one on my computer. It said it was um, one minute past eight. So all good here, Sarah? Oh, good, not frozen yet, no. no. Um, probably just my end because I, I'm not actually active on the Facebook page. Uh, on the Facebook, I'm only on the, um, I only have this open at once. My, uh, my BeLive Studio, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Renna. Yeah, I can see I'm moving. So we've got the heart here as our role. Oh, oh what a perfect one to have because it's what I, my whole aim in presence in life is living from the heart. And to have that as our role today, I think it's absolutely perfect. So I really do enjoy seeing the heart as part of our spread. In this position, it is love self um bring in you know bring your mindfulness to your central core your heart space your um soul center whatever word you want to uh give for that uh all right and uh certainly to bring it to that heart space i'm just reading your comments now because that's what i'm looking at deidre you're on my ros boundy page and it's not frozen here actually i think what you're on deidre seeing your comments there that's actually my ros boundy profile this is where there's a confusing difference since i've actually got a page that is called ros boundy what one you're on is the profile it's the one uh you know it doesn't have the business stuff on it and Nat, you can hear me but not moving. Oh, I think oh, I think for me it's just looking like that Facebook itself is being a bit weird. Yeah, I can see that I'm not moving on that. Let me see if I can go over to my Ros Boundy page, page, page. The Ros Boundy page, Deidre, has um, my um, business card as the cover page, a cover photo up the top with the little avatar, read, uh, you know, doing the crystal ball. That's what's actually on my page. And oh, they're all is... different. Hang on, I'm just going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that I'm not oh. moving on that. Let me see. <laughs> Rinna is on my Ros Boundy page and Deidre, you're on my Ros Boundy profile. Just needing to explain that. <laughs> But that's all right. There's nothing wrong with wherever you're watching it from. So long as you're getting the guidance that you're needing from these cards, I think it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> there is a difference. It's the it's the thing about what Facebook has as its whole platform. It's and they're changing their name to Metaverse anyway. Um, the whole platform is you have to join Facebook as a profile. That is the base of how you are present on Facebook as, you know, being there. And uh, that's the one that you're on is my profile presence. And then you open pages or groups. You open, you know, create pages or groups. Page is usually business related. Groups or whatever it is that you're wanting to create. And hopefully most people are doing this with love in their heart because it was it's a very, very confusing realm when you start stepping into the intricacies of Facebook land. Um, for some, it's because 
we know that there's people who we know and love grow to know and love get to meet on Facebook and that we want to keep connected to that we stay on Facebook uh, as much as my instinct is telling me run away it's too confusing there's so much busyness and wildness and stormy seas and all that happens in the Facebook yeah Facebook land um, it's with love in the heart that usually, uh, yeah, ha having that as our what we're working from is a wonderful feeling. And sitting in that space in our meditative time, whatever time we need, it's our role to be working from that space. And I don't want to really call it a responsibility, but sometimes it does feel like that, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, no, you no need to panic. It's just that's how that's how the whole structure of what Facebook is. Your profile is your initial. It's how you joined up. It's what you would have. Each and every one of us is meant to have a profile because otherwise we couldn't really be present here. Um, and that's where you've got to watch out for fake profiles. Facebook are wanting to <laughs> um Good morning, Roz, from Sue. Oh, Susan, sorry. Yes, <laughs> lovely to have you here. Um, you'll look from a My Time link in future. Oh, look, the My Time one or the Roz Boundy page link, um, it, it doesn't matter where. You can be on any. I do go to the five. There's even a YouTube one that I love to have that uh, going out to public. I don't know that I get too many that are on the YouTube channel watching as a live. Um, there's not too many that watch it as a replay. But it's there and it's on my website because I link it through directly onto my website. Um, good morning, Kerry ann Lovely to have you here too. Um, there's, there's so many different ways and you're in Sydney, yeah, yeah. There's so many different ways that we can actually use this technology out and about to um, share what we know. It's not just, you know, I've got to be everywhere, man, to make a presence known. It's having something valuable to share, and I, I just love doing these cards. And here we are with uh, what we've got is the bouquet of flowers in the centre, now, that can be the outcome at the end of the day that we can actually pat ourselves on the back and say thank you to ourselves from that heart space. Or we may have received throughout our day sometime a bouquet of flowers, a thank you, a recognition and acknowledgement uh, of, of what we've done in our day. Because remember, this is just, you know, for me, my intention is that this general spread is for the day today. It could flow over into the tomorrow. That doesn't doesn't matter because what we're doing today is actually each and every moment that we're stepping through our timeline because we as humans need something that's more concrete than just fluffing things through but we like linear timelines so we've got that gauge each time um yeah i've got a different opinion on time but um you know if each time we're stepping through something we're doing in the day it's creating history because you can't go back and redo it exactly the same so just move through with that wisdom that knowing um as consciously as you can with that awareness of being present in each moment and then you'll be able to think back, oh, that was something that I remember because, uh, you know, it had this sort of effect on me. I learnt this from it and all of those types of things. Um, I'm pleased I did that because it, it had an influence on somebody else as we're communicating. Or, wow, it was just so nice to have the walk with the dog today because in that process I, you know, there's so many different possibilities of everything that we do in our day, isn't it? um thanks thanks so uh good morning to you as well um <laughs> i've had the susan and sue <laughs> sitting one under the other so oh god <laughs> sometimes it can be confusing uh almost cross-eyed but it's good it's all good and it is it's good it's all good a beautiful set of cards here this morning loving them so as you're moving through your day certainly you know Bring in that anchor, and it doesn't matter that this is just is in the home space. It can influence all of what our day is as well. Bring in that anchor, like, you know, even if it needs to be reset, bring it up and make sure it's in that solid ground for those moments when you need it. Uh, allowing the loyal friend, dog, to be part of that process if it needs to be. 
because we do have that in the unexpected position. So, and what you are going to be communicating through the day that it is wise without the sting of the scorpion tail, but wise words. And, you know, it doesn't have to be war and peace or whatever that book is that it's a tome of intellect. Just be you. But being you in that truest sense of the word where you're working from the heart, where you're living from the heart, where you're being from the heart, and you certainly will have that um, satisfaction, that pleasure, that knowing that what you did by the end of your day, it is worth that self-congratulation, that thank you to self, that that understanding that you are being the best you that you can be, okay? So that's what I'm getting from the cards this morning and it's so lovely to be here to share that with you. So certainly go back and have a look again if you need to. Uh, share it with others if there's something from there that you think they may need as well. I I am, you know, I do, I do work at doing more in-depth readings, of course. Most of you here would know that. So it's the Buy Me A Coffee link or the Ros Boundy. And the other one is the Calendly if you need to uh, book a call, book a session with me that is more than one-on-one, -on -one, you know, as a Zoom meeting or something like that. I keep forgetting to put that on my um, on my wall somewhere, you know, where you can see it all the time. But I've just put that link there in the comment stream. So if you need to do that at any point. And email is info at rosbounty.com.au. You know, it's just that. Oh, whoops, that with info if you need to ask any questions that's more direct rather than being on a Facebook system. Okay. <laughs> So thank you so much for being here. You know how much I appreciate you. Have a wonderful, beautiful day being the best you that you can be. Okay, and namaste till then. Bye for now.